What's up, Insiders? I'm Lauren, a program manager here at YouTube and the producer of Creator Insider. If it's Tuesday, it's Newsday, so let's get into it. We've added more format types to YouTube Studio over the past few years, so we're revamping the Content tab to better meet the needs of creators of all sizes and formats. The Content tab in Studio Mobile will now provide an overview of all formats like videos, shorts, live, and playlists, organized by its own respective shelf. There's an option to see the list view of each format by clicking View All on the respective shelf. Scheduled will be an available filter chip only if a creator has content scheduled. To declutter the overview page and free up space for important performance data like views and likes, the monetization and visibility status will only display when there's an issue or the video is not public. To view the monetization or visibility status, click View All and it will display from the video list. This will be rolling out to all creators over the coming weeks on Studio Mobile. Let us know if you have any questions. Next, let's talk about some upgrades coming to the Comments tab in YouTube Studio. We've heard from creators that they'd like more tools and features to help understand and build relationships with their audience, and that, at times, moderating and navigating comments can feel overwhelming. We're excited to share that improvements to address this feedback, announced it made on YouTube earlier this year, are beginning to launch. So what are these improvements? First, we're renaming the Comments tab Community. Next, we're introducing a new place to view audience metrics so you can see how many comments you have and the amount of returning viewers at a glance. We're also adding a community spotlight, which highlights some of your most engaged viewers to make it easy for you to identify, engage with, and close the loop with them by responding to their comments. And we're improving our AI-enhanced comment reply suggestions to provide editable suggestions in your own style and tone to help make it easier for you to respond to comments. This will be limited to a small number of creators while we test the feature and will expand in the coming months. We'll begin rolling out the upgraded community tab in the YouTube Studio app in the coming weeks, and comment reply suggestions will roll out gradually over time. We'll leave more information below, but let us know if you have any questions and we'll pass them on to the team working on this. Next, last year we began testing AI-generated video summaries for a small number of users on select English language videos. Based on feedback from this experiment, over the coming weeks we'll expand AI-generated summaries to more users globally on select English language videos. These video summaries use generative AI to create a short, basic summary of a YouTube video which provides viewers with a quick glimpse of what to expect. Note that AI-generated video summaries do not replace or impact a creator's ability to write their own video descriptions. These summaries complement the description to help viewers find what they're looking for. If you see an AI-generated summary on one of your videos or anywhere else on YouTube, check it out and let us know what you think. Next, we're experimenting with a new interactive chatbot on Studio Desktop that will surface Help Center content to answer creator questions. Eligible creators will see a clickable icon to the right of the search field on Studio Desktop. We'll plan to expand this feature to more creators pending experiment results, and if you're interested in testing the feature, let us know in the comments. And that's it for this week. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, we'll see you next week.